Hello, everybody. We are live on Miami Community Radio. My name is Mystics, and this is my instinctual sound healing. Start off the set with some music.
environment. Playing on vinyl. I picked an affirmation card to start the session. And the affirmation is, I wake up today with strength in my heart and clarity in my mind. I wake up today with strength in my heart and clarity in my mind. So today I picked out a affirmation meditation for us to go through, which is for gratitude. Every day we should practice gratitude. Affirmations of gratitude offer inspiration and support in building the capacity to identify and remember gratitude each day. From research, we know that something must be repeated seven times to be remembered. So the following are some affirmations. Then I will repeat them seven times each. And I invite you to repeat these with me. I am grateful for the gifts I receive from others. I am grateful for the gifts I receive from others. I am grateful for the gifts that I receive from others. I am grateful for the gifts that I receive from others. I am grateful for the gifts that I receive from others. One final time. I am grateful for the gifts that I receive from others. My heart holds gratitude towards others, myself, and the greater good. My heart holds gratitude for myself, others, and the greater good. My heart holds gratitude towards others, myself, and the greater good. My heart holds gratitude towards others, myself, and the greater good. My heart holds gratitude towards others, myself, and the greater good.
my heart holds gratitude towards others, myself, and the greater good. My heart holds gratitude towards others, myself, and the greater good. I am open to give and receive love. 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 hurts through compassion, kindness, and thankfulness. I release 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 hurts through compassion, kindness, and thankfulness. I am grateful for my health. 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 And the last one. I rejoice in the way things are. 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 So, the affirmations we went through are, I am grateful for the gifts I receive from others. My heart holds gratitude towards others, myself, and the greater good. I am open to receive and give love. I release hurts through compassion, kindness, and thankfulness. I am grateful for my health. I rejoice in the way things are. So I love these affirmation meditations because when you think things to yourself, you're not always thinking positive things. You're always trying to figure things out, see what your next plans are. And sometimes it's just good to be in the present and analyze what you have going for you, what you can do for yourself emotionally and for others.
chakras and bringing all that energy into your physical body is what this clear beautiful stone is known for. It is also known to stimulate the sound chakra and enhance the effects of other crystals and stones. This is a must have for a true crystal lover. Fluorite is like a clearish teal purple stone. You probably see it mostly at every crystal shop. Really cool. affirmation for today is I wake up today with strength in my heart and clarity in my mind. Strength in my heart and clarity in my mind. So the next meditation I have set up for today is a spirit animal meditation. Um, I always try to figure out what my spirit animal is. I just would say like cat because I love cats but I'm still not sure, so this is why I chose this meditation, because I'm sure there's other people who aren't sure what the spirit animal is. So it's a guided meditation. You can have your eyes open, your eyes closed, whatever you like. This guided imagery is about meeting your power animal. Like the ancient ones, the power animals come from deep within her consciousness and are who she is. We believe that power animals are our deepest memories. We all share DNA with all animals alive on Earth. A lion has the same DNA than we do for many systems. We can, in our media, <laughs> we can in our memories see out the lion's eyes. We are them. They call to us deeply and loudly. Power animals are easy to contact, or easier to contact than ancient ones. Their voices are louder, they are easier to see. They will come and speak to you when you need them. The animals are helpers. Like ancient ones, 
they are guides. They tell you what you need to know. They give you their immense energy. No shaman would ever go into sacred space without their animal helper. Close your eyes. Take a couple deep breaths. Let your abdomen rise and fall. Get in your imagery space as you have many times before. Now put yourself on a path. Feel your feet touch the earth. Smell the fresh air. Feel the warm breeze on your face. Walk down the path. It goes downhill slightly. The ground is hard and has small stones in the soil. It is solid and secure. Feel the ground and the grass that is on each side of the path. Walk down the path. It crosses a wooden bridge across a rushing stream. The bridge has stout railings. You can hear your feet echo on the bridge like a drumbeat as you walk across. If you need to drop something in the water that you want to get rid of, you can do that now. The path goes upward slightly and comes over a rise. Below you is a large meadow. In the center of the meadow is a grassy circle. Sit in the circle and wait. Now ask for your power animal to come to you. They are like spirit animals coming out of the let the animal appear and come up to you. It can come from a distance or appear out of nowhere. The animal that appears to you is your power animal helper. It is your shaman's animal. Let the animal come towards you. Let them begin to speak and move. Stay in the meadow as long as you like and feel connected to the earth. Your power animal is part of the earth. It has tendrils that reach deep into the earth, the sky, and you, and connect it all together. If you feel comfortable, you can invite your animal to come to you, touch you, even come into your body. You can merge with them and see out of their eyes. You do. Now, stand up and leave the meadow. The path goes out of the far side and you can walk down the path further. It leads to the edge of an ancient forest of old growth trees. Stand at the edge of the forest by an ancient tree. Find a tree that speaks to you and, tell you to and tells you to come to it. Now, put your hand on the tree 
tough, touch its rough back, feel its warmth, its life. Now imagine that you put your hand on the tree, you spiral deep into a spiral of your own being. You spiral deep inside yourself, into your heart, and inside your body. Your heart opens with wings. A spirit eye opens within you and sees the experience. It witnesses, it witnesses you as becoming the shaman. Walk back to the meadow, then to the bridge. Then to where you are now. Bring your spirit animal. Bring the connectedness with you. Now move your feet. Look around you. You are now on the path of the feather. You can see and hear power animals and ancient ones. You can make fear for voice telling you how to heal the earth. the meditation to find your spirit animal, your power animal. I hope that helped you find one. I still think mine is a cat. Keep on the topic of animals. I brought two tarot that's our animal theme today. I brought pro tarot and tarot pig and cats. So we're gonna pick one from each of these tarot cards and you know see what appears for us today. Nine of Pentacles. So on this card, there's a wolf and a crow and a butterfly. The crow is sitting on the wolf's head, the butterfly is in a tree, and the sun is out. With cherry blossoms coming off the side and lotus flowers at the wolf's feet. Seems like, before even reading it, that there's harmony in this photo and connectedness with nature. The crow, in harmony with nature, 
sits upon a wolf as the sun casts a loving, warm light over the blossoming trees, an abundant pile of coins. Unbothered by the bird, the wolf is at peace. It represents quietness of spirit and the ability to control one's emotion. In the distance is a dense green tree, symbolizing a comfortable, stable home. The nine of, the nine of pentacles may represent near completion of a goal or objective that will be successful once it's finished. It may also point to a life of wealth and comfort, both materially and emotionally. What a nice card to come up after a spirit animal meditation. Very metaphorical. So the next I'll be choosing is cat. I love these little tarot cards so much. They have like a different cat on each card. So I'm very excited to see what will come up for us today. This is actually one I've never used in any of these sound healing sessions or in general. So I would love to see. white fluffy kitty with a candle lit, some food in her bowl, a chalice, and a statue. Very peaceful looking in the The Four of Swords. From this, I see that the, the kitty cat has everything that it needs pillow to sleep on, food to eat, and also spirituality. A needed respite from trouble. Very short book. So I think it's a rest away from troubles. A place of complete inner calm to refortify their mind and body. They have encountered several challenges and there may, may still be more, but before facing any more tasks, they need a wellness break. The Four of Swords is a reminder to take time out to recharge your spirit and mind. Find a quiet place where you can freely travel inward and absorb the loving energy of your entire self. This card indicates you will be able to resolve your situation from a place of clarity and compassion. So we got two really cool cards. The Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. If you're wondering what are these bird noises, this is from the environments, new concepts in stereo sound. It's called the Optimum Aviary. So we're in a bird cage, essentially. A 
optimum aviary was designed to make the room seem bigger and brighter through the use of controlled reverberation, as well as unobtrusively neutralizing most distracting noises. Results are usually best played during daylight hours, in particular morning hours.
Miss Dixon's sensual healing here on Miami Community Radio. Thank you so much for sticking through the guided meditation and the affirmation meditation. And have a beautiful day.